Greetings, greetings. Welcome back to another episode of The Ascension of Beatrice de Fang. We can see her looming there ominous, om, ominous me, ominously in the background above this hmm. Warhammer wielding wizard. This is the Marauder. Elven marks. Where are they elves? I thought this brigand camp popped up because uh, my city had so much unrest. Look how constipated and unhappy they are. Uh, so we sent Beatrice Tepang down there to deal with them. She was fighting her way through here. I have a quest to come here for some reason. And I had to pull her away. Why? Why? Huh. Huh. Man, things are bananas in here. Just bananas. Um. I, I, I looked through all the little areas just to apprise myself of what was going on. And I saw this one and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Look at all these armies. I, uh, yikes. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun. That's gonna chew us up real good. Um, other thing I was gonna do this uh, episode was I was gonna try to avoid spending so much time in these little uh, merchant shops. I really like this mod. I feel like it's a great way to spend money However, I was realizing I was, you know, like every turn, I'd have to check like four of them and I'd talk about it forever. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm going to, um, when I get to that like phase of my turn, I'm going to pause, kind of look through them all. And um, once I've sort of decided whether I wanna buy anything, I will unpause and go, oh, I'm gonna buy this thing. Um, there's a lot of really cool armor. I think I'm going to buy this. I think there was one other cool, like, piece of armor I thought about buying. Mail on the Razorback? Eh, maybe there was. Oh, I remember it was. There was another um, crown of... One of these had a crown of um, undead uh, Necron. I believe is what it's called. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Halo of Necron. Oh, I'm just shy of buying it. Oh. Halo of Necron. Okay, there's a Necromancer's crown. I think it was this. I was going to buy this. While the leader, all undead. Yeah, we're going to buy this. And I got to go to my dudes. Man Dark. Oops. And importantly, he has to be the leader, which he is. Great. Uh, that's not as important. We're going to give him the Necromancer's crown. Boop. Confirm. And then, what was this one? Ah. Then we were going to go to Zatarak, or whatever his name was. When to win. And I was going to give him this Greater Armor of the Rogue. And this is just going to make his ranger's stuff hit even harder. Boop. Cool. All right. Enough of those shenanigans. What were we doing next? A hero leveled up. Great. Let's do that. This guy. Oh, he gets a signature skill. Assassinate. That could be good. Uh, yeah. Let's give him assassinate. Just one free, basically, attack. It's a little more than just the chance to attack. I think with as scary as all this stuff is, I might give him defense. Or... Uh... Yeah, well, this would be good with... Assassinate. Hmm. <laughs> I think... There's so many monsters in here that I think just, like, a big tanky dude is a perfectly reasonable idea. Oh, I can recruit a guy. 
re recruit up on. I can recruit a recruiter. But who recruits the recruiter? Get a beast tamer. Don't really care about that. In one of the little um, merchant huts, there was a... Uh, oh, what are they called? A flame pup. An inferno hound mount. I was like, that's kind of cool. I don't think I have anyone that can use it. That seems pretty nifty. Um, I don't think I need any of these guys right now. What I need is just kind of a few more units. More armies. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you attack here, we don't have that thing that makes my team go insane. There is a Mage Bane. That's about the scariest thing in here. These can kind of mess you up, but they die reasonably easy. All right, let's let's uh, let's try auto combat. Oh, man. My poor Dark Knight. Jeez, you got the... It's not kicked out of you, too. We can do better. In between playing this storyline and my scant bit of freedom... Freedom. <laughs> free time. Uh, I've been playing another game of Age of Wonders 4 where I... Oh, look, they clumped up all beautifully. Do I have anyone that can, like, throw some damage right on top of their head? Ooh, you can. Yes. Good. Oh, you can't reach. Boogers. Um, I'm playing uh, as, like, I wanted to make sort of a non-Eldritch faction. In fact, they're designed to sort of be anti-Eldritch. Um, so they... It's basically the movie Constantine, right? The, uh... I wanted a guy that fought evil, but he's sort of like the anti-hero. And, um... But I made them, uh... Oh, what are the, the Reavers. So, they shoot like holy bullets. It's pretty fun. And I took the Seer skill, the Seer Ascension trait, and I can just like snipe a, one or two dudes every turn, or at the beginning of every fight, and it just makes things pretty fun. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bonkers. Be like, that guy? Dead. Uh, let's sing a little song. And you do the same thing. I, I think my plan for doing Age of Wonders streams, because I just, I love playing this game. I play it all the time. I don't want to stream every episode I do, or every, you know, game I'm doing, just because... I want to have some just, like, offline time. But I love putting together these sort of, like, storyline campaigns. You know, something that isn't me just going, ah, random map, random opponents, my carefully crafted guy, go! I, I like there to be sort of, like, you know, this is what I imagined the Battle of Blah 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 would be like. Spelljammer, got it. And so I think those ones will be kind of more interesting and more fun to stream. So that's my plan. Whoa! What was that? They must have that lightning uh, enchantment that does, like, splash damage. Bonk, bonk! Earth Elemental's doing good work. He just got weakened like 75 times. What was all that? Disrupted. I don't think he has any enchantments. Well, it's a good thing I don't care about this guy, because he's going down, down. Um, hmm. Well, I guess... Can I reach anything? Oh, they cleverly stayed right out of range. Except for you. Your toast. Crunch. Let's see. Let's run this guy up and hit him. Crunch. Um. 
15. It's not bad. Also 15. Also 15. Wait, no. 21, not bad. Could kill that guy. But, like, this is the thing I'm least concerned about. I'd like to take this out of the battle. Battle. So let's do it. Uh, uh, ah, mm. This is my dude that can hit super mega hard, so... I was really hoping that would do more damage. Is there any... Oh, that's what I should have done. Dag nab it. Every dang time. Every ding dang darn time. I suppose what I could do... Bring you forward. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Good hit. I'm gonna run this guy forward. I'm gonna bring this guy forward. One. Okay, that just puts him in range. Let's give him a zap. Didn't do much. Uh, oh yeah, this is the thing that has splash damage. I, I, I like, I like ye. What cool, do I have any cool spells that can make this awesome? Not really. Nah. Eh. Just hit him. Ooh, it stunned him. That's great. Good job. It still means the spell jammer is up and running, but you know what? That's uh that's good stuff. Now this guy had all sorts of nastiness. Oops, did I did the game freeze? There we go. I was really thinking about it. Amplified arrows. Yeah, there we go. The lightning damage. That's a cool enchantment. But, oh, let's see. Did you do a battle song? Not yet. Do a battle song. And then you... Uh, sure. Yeah, hit that guy. And this guy can do a cool phoenix attack. Actually, why don't we send you over here. Punch this guy in the back of his head. Woo! Good hit. We'll send this phoenix attack, like, right... I'd like to get this guy if possible. What happens if I run and get just a little further? Can I get the... Yes, good. I can't hit this guy anyway. He's probably refuged. So let's do that. Right there. Wah! Huh? Then this guy... Uh, let's see. Bring this guy forward. Just kill him. Great. Good hit. Uh, this is a Dark Knight. Uh, eh. This is my arrow guy. We need to bring him over here and start sniping some of this trash over here. Let's do that. And he's got a crossbow, so I can move. Oops. Go back one. What do you mean, out of range? Well, I guess so. Like that, can I hit two guys? Yes! Whammo! Good hit. And then with this Dark Knight, you're just gonna run up and, uh... I guess go right here. Did I have extra moves? If I go like this... Uh, I think this is perfectly acceptable. 33, 30 is the exact same. Uh, let's go this guy. Is that it? Did everyone get a move? Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Uh, okay, spell time. Let's uh, necrotize. It's gonna cost me a little extra because of the um, spell jammer ability this guy had, but I get a zombie out of the deal, so works for me. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Don't kill my dude. Ooh. Oh, wait. But he was riding a phoenix. Right? 
Please don't tell me these dumb little things are going to block my Phoenix revival. Uh, well, let's kill that. Right now. I did not think that guy was going to shoot me that hard. That's upsetting. I'm upset. Punch! Oh shoot, you can't hit anything. Uh, well, can you come up here? Scratch that. I'm gonna send this guy up, see if he can hit anything. Please kill him. Dang it. Alright, I just need... <coughs> Excuse me. A big... Yeah, this is kind of the biggest thing I have. Dang. Uh, okay, what about, what if I come over here, do a Phoenix Curse Smash, now, hopefully, that doesn't mean my warrior doesn't rise from the grave, because if that guy is just plain dead, that's gonna annoy the poop out of me. We got one little idiot there. Uh -huh. You can just step forward and go here and blast him a couple times. Or once. And you can kind of do the same thing. Waha! Uh -huh. Great hit, but it's alright. Zombies, hit him. Screw up his, uh... Retaliation attack. Good. Probably should have done this first. Run this guy over and... Can't quite reach the penguin. Oh, but this is... Goodbye. This guy's gonna come over here and attack the penguin. Anyone else? Ooh, you have a... You can't quite get to him. Anyone else have any moves? You you can move. You can't really do anything. Next unit. So it's just my hero. Well, low chance. Let's drop a spell on his head just to see if we can actually. Haha! Freeze the penguin. Uh huh. Yes. Like in uh, Demolition Man. That, that was Wesley Snipes as a demon penguin. No, you're gonna come back to life, right? Please, please and thank you. I think I gave regeneration to this guy. Right? Did I not? Ah! I don't care about Storm Spirit. Okay. I do not want to kill these things yet, so I just gotta sneak this guy over. And... I'm just gonna pull all my creatures away. Everyone run away for a turn. Because I want my hero back. Run away. Run away. Run, 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 run away. And... These guys are just going to make a little wall, so they can't stand on top of my dude. And let's end turn. Okay, perfect, perfect. Don't do it. No. Raise the dude. Where is he? I'm gonna be real annoyed if that guy doesn't come back. 76 damage. No, he did. 
That fight went splendidly other than that guy just got absolutely nuked into oblivion. I think I can reanimate him though. Sure would like to not lose any guys. I think I can get him back pretty quick. Um, in his place, we will commemorate his loss with a bone horror. Still, don't, still haven't seen a single bone dragon become available. I don't know what you have to kill to get a bone dragon, but... Okay. So let's go over to my capital. Capital? Oh, no, that didn't count. Anyway, I guess it's in here, if you're on screen. Animate. Yeah. <gasps> Raising that bone, the horror screwed up the mother bugger. I have an idea. I have an idea. Well, I have some more combat to do. Maybe I can uh, do that this turn. Ah, oh, you're so close. Okay, it's fine. It's great. It's fine. That's what exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to lose one of my strongest heroes. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's cool. That's fine. I enjoy that. Uh, we'll give him just... You do not have sprint, so let's give you sprint? I guess that'll be okay. Sure. I think I'd rather have defense. Maximum tankiness. Who else leveled up? This guy? I don't really want martial expertise. Sprint is meh. Weakening aura, meh. Okay, I think one of these. Endurance training. That could be really good. Precision. Uh, I think we'll go with the status resistance. Because this umbral, these things in the umbral abyss just love to throw status effects on you. Okay. What's next? Oh, this is my crypt. Hey, this is my dude. I almost hit Cell Remains. No, we have to animate him. Orders required. Uh, just snuggle up next to that guy. Huh? You sit tight. I said snuggle. Yeah, I've already done all this stuff, so I'm gonna ignore all these. The one thing I didn't see, I just wanna see how many more turns until they cycle. Three turns, okay, great. So on turn 91, I should check again. Uh, no. 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 Oh no, come on! I was getting there as fast as I could. That's annoying. They're still level 1 units, uh -huh. though. Soother, soother, soother. And one Spellbreaker. These things can kind of kick your butt. This isn't going to move, so I'm just going to bring Beatrice de Fang down in this... Aha! I want her right here. Uh -huh. And you're just gonna go run away for a turn. Otherwise, they're gonna attack you, and that'll make me sad. Oh, you can get all the way over there? That's impressive. Evil presence lingers in these lands. Do tell! Oh, my vassal will let me do more stuff. Um. Friggin' camp where? No. That's not terribly helpful. Umbral Nest. Boy, that'd be great. I might have to send them to go and try and... Oh, that's the problem. There's two Umbral Nests in here. Um, yes. Please come help me with Umbral Nest number one. Go now. My goodness, I have a lot of Imperium. What am I not spending it on? 
Uh, yeah, that's not super helpful. That's not super helpful. Uh, 25 chance? Eh, I don't care. Raising cities. Doesn't matter. Anything in here that's useful? Not really. I wonder if this would let me build a city. I doubt it. I bet the the map trait of cannot gain cities just like blocks all of all ways of gain gaining cities. That'd be my guess. Yeah, okay. Nothing too exciting in here. I'd love to get a little further down this tree or maybe even get the the nature. I, I find almost all of these pretty darn good all the time. They're all about growing your city fast. Spell ready. Blizzard. Okay. I was dropping that on one of these guys. I think it was this guy. Yeah. Jill out. Okay, one guy died. Can I do that again? Uh, sure. Die. I, I, I can hear how impressed you are with my spot-on Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. What is this? Oh, enthralled population. Earthkin. Thought I set this to go. Is it not live? I want that live. Make that live, please. You know, maybe I was waiting until I cleared out that, um, this thing. Probably the case. Man, there's a lot of nastiness all throughout. If this guy wasn't here, I'd be gaining... Oh, it's just a pickup. Just a pickup. Close. Outpost. Uh, What were we building here? Where am I? What am I looking at? I think I was going to get this. Just to really mess with him. Because he's not grabbing it for whatever reason, so... Fine now, sucker. <coughs> Some gold and a bunch of all whatever that was. Rock blast. That's great. That just damage. Okay. Restore undead army. That would have been handy. Actually, this would be great because now my guys are undead. Yeah, let's get this. Uh, yeah, 100% this. Learn it fast, please. Where are you? Where are you going? Down here to help kind of knock some heads in? Sounds great. No, this guy. I wanted... Blizzard. Wizard. Whatever I named you. Okay. Who's next? Golly, it's a bunch of scary stuff. Ugh. We have a quest to kill this guy. You go here. Oh. You go... There. Alright. Yikes. A little bit of damage everywhere. Uh, I really cannot take this much damage. I think I, I gotta retry. Beer time! I'm drinking Black Raven Brewing Light Pilsner with Lime. It's delightful. It's a very good summery beer. I described it to a friend as it's like, if you ever had Corona with like a lime squeezed in it, it's a lot like that. But Corona has a bad habit of getting skunky because they bottle it in clear glass. And uh, quite sometimes just kind of doesn't taste very good because it it's not really gone bad, but it just doesn't stay as good as it could in uh, 
They're glass. That's why most beards are in brown or aluminum these days. But this is from a can, obviously. You just heard it. And it's delicious. I do have my scalds, which can recharge me a little bit, not recharge, regenerate me a little bit. So that's cool. Um, you go here. You go here. You go there. You go there. Oops. And... I'm gonna face you forward. Everyone else, they're not gonna come after this army. It'll be fine. Uh, maybe I'll face you forward. And you. You're fine. And turn. Here we get double teamed by Bone Dragons. Oof, that was a wild night. I'm not allowed to talk about it in three states. Okay. Battle song. What is that actually called? Hymn of Battle or something? Oh, well, Song of Carnage. Basically the same thing. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. It will kill my guy. Alternately, do a bunch of damage to these bone dragons. What if I flew? Eh, it's not it's not great damage to bone dragons, unfortunately. But it will do a bunch of damage to this wyvern. You haven't done anything yet. What if you go and can't freeze him? I don't care about that very much. Uh, sure. Slowed. Not bad. What if I do something nutty like this? Whoosh! Is that nutty enough? It didn't help that much. Uh, sure. You... Quite kill that guy, but I bet if I run up here, I really don't want to lose my Dark Knight. That would make me sad. Now, can you? Okay, you can kill that guy. I think he has killing momentum. So now we get another shot. And that's why I say, "Hey, man, nice shot." And then this can just kind of be bait. I don't care about this bone horror. Uh, let's inchy squinch this team up just a bit. Inchy squinch. Don't walk through the poisonous mushrooms, please. Battle song. this guy, they're wet, so I can freeze. I can likely freeze one of them. And then they have the exact same chance. Well, turds. I guess this guy. Uh, we'll try this guy. Nice! Got it. Uh, can you hit anything? No. Uh, next unit. Next unit. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, maybe we can move this army forward a little bit. And you've already done a thing. All right, good turn. Hmm, one, two, I don't know. I don't think I can get this guy with my arrow fighter. Zarbadar, or whatever his name is. Let's bring this guy over here. Do a little zappity zap. Okay, he went insane. This does not do enough damage. Do hit him. It's about the same. Distance bonus. Um, well, you hit him. Defense is sundered. Good. You hit him. Good. You hit him. Good crunch. 
Uh, I go like this. And punch him. Uh, no frozen, but that's okay. We're getting there. I'm gonna take kind of a long way around with this guy. Assassinate? Nope. Good try. Good try. Boom. Uh, you can't really hit him. Well, I take that back. Look, you can get him right here. Splat. Uh, you just lob some junk at that guy. Lob some junk. Whoops. Junk at that guy. Crunch. Oh, yeah. This was an easy fight. I don't know why the... Auto battler, battler, was not having such a good time with it. Other than the fact that oh, there's still a guy alive right here. That's fine. Oh, and you still have an attack. Splendid. Uh, can't kill the dragon, but eh. Shoot him. Oh, you got him. Nice. Killing momentum. Did it not kick in? Oh, he's not in range. Okay, well, who needs who needs a little pick-me-up? You do? Great. Uh, let's see if we can freeze him again. Nice! Oh, man. Here we go. And we, we've basically cleared this battle. So let's, uh... Let's let the autom automation do some work. Uh-huh. Arrow. Shirt, another round of regeneration. There you go. Good job, Dark Knights. Uh, no skeleton dragons, even though I literally fought two. Maybe I don't have enough? What do you need to raise one? Like 200? Uh, dismiss those. Yeah, I don't want them. But now I can raise this dude. Animate. And where'd he go? You need to fly your booty on. You know, I don't even remember which umbral date this was. Oh, it's that one way up there. Alright, alright. Okay, well, double time, dude. As I say to my dog when he's dragging his feet. Pick your feet up. What is that phoenix thing supposed to do? I thought having a phoenix meant if you died, come back with 40% of life total. It must have been because it spawned a zombie on top of me. That'll block a lot of a lot of effects. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff trying to sneak up behind us. Oops. Do you have any movement left? You do. Hello! Meeting the Fist of Tharokath. You have fought your way to the mysterious defector of Shadrach. She lowers... <coughs> oh, excuse me. She lowers her Construct Devourer when she notices you. Oh, that's her big weapon hammer. You, you are the Ascended Beatrice de Fang? She wipes ichor from her brow. Ooh. I've heard of having oily skin, but Icarus skin? Blech. Thank the hive. I thought I would die here. They call me Undizani. That's a great name. I was a war drone for the Thrall Warden until my head was smashed in and I stopped hearing the song of the hive. Ow! I realized the truth about Urath and what his corruption does to my people. I heard you were looking for the Gate of Therakath. As a war drone, I was tasked with guarding the potential locations of its connected Umbral Gate. I would join the liberation of Therakath if you would have me. Learn possible locations. Great. Hero Calf increases by one. Join me. Um. Sure. Sick. I just got a free unit. Welcome to the... The, the team, gang, and you have 17 levels. 
But okay, let's see what kind of cool weapons I could give you, just in theory. I could make you a cool witch. I've got some cool stab that I'm not using. I kind of like that. Ooh, I could, since you're a spider, I could give you a spidery staff. This one has spider egg, which summons a tier one. This one has spider egg, which has tier one. Okay, one of these is cool. Okay, what cool abilities did you have? You had bolstering. When hit by a melee or physical range attack, once per turn. So you kind of want to be a melee dude. Tireless marchers. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of melee options. I have this smoldering axe. Uh, on the other hand, I could just make something. I don't really... I want to use one of these cool magic dudes. But we're going to do that. Which one do I like more? Radiant Staff of Spiders? Let's let's compare. Uh, the Arachnid Staff is a tier 3 and does 4 more damage. And it kills fiends. Yeah, we're going to go with Arachnid Staff. Which is what I have equipped. Great. Uh, currently you have a warming mask. Oh, my, my face is so cold. This could be good. Rogue Hood. Uh, kind of Ruin. Magic attacks ignore up to three status resistance. That could be great. Maybe I should see what signature skills we get with you. You could get Frostfire Detonation. Oh, I have to kind of do them in order. Um, okay, we'll get Frostfire. Confirm. And we'll build this guy as a uh, magic user. That's funny. I thought I already saw Mass Rejuvenation. Dark Rituals. I've come around on Dark, dark Ritual. At the very beginning of combat, it doesn't do anything. You have to kill a lot of things for it to do things. I still think it's pretty good. But I think, like, Summon Elemental is just better. But, what the hell. Last but not least... Man, it really wants me to get Mass Rejuvenation. Alien Blessing? I don't really want any of these things. Uh... Sure. Probably won't use it. Um... Okay, you didn't gain any... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Which is the one with Fiend Hunter? Fiend's... Slayer. Confirm. So we're going to make you a magic fighter, dude. Support abilities. Provide one regeneration. Hmm. Okay. Piercing mantle. Ignore a bunch of status resistance. I think I'm going to make this guy, like, just a magic killing guy. Star blades could be cool. Uh, we'll take that. Confirm. Runner shoes. That'll be good. He'll be able to keep up with all the mounted guys. Okay, no rings. Have a Wanda lightning strike. Wand of, not Wanda lightning strike. And sure, you can equip that too. All right, let's give you some cool other abilities. Call the weak. Melee attacks. The thing I find about, like, magic users like this, they rarely do just a basic attack. I'm gonna give them sprint, just so they have, like, a way to get out of a sticky spot. Then we're just gonna start working down this tree. 
I'll give you uh, Magecraft. Confirm. Unholy leader. Great. Do I want restore? Wouldn't be the worst. I've got this though. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need Restore, because I already have sort of a healing ability. Take Lightning Evoker. Confirm. Oh, shoot. I just gained two skills when I didn't mean to. Oh, well. Um, back here. Distant Evocation. Fiery Evoker. Sundering Curse. Heck yeah. Cain Strength, heck yeah. Great. Frost. Magecraft. I'm just gonna learn everything in here. Whoop! Anything in here worth getting? Frost weapons, probably not. Grim Executioner. This could be great, because could, uh, really kill a bunch of dudes with a well-placed spell. Inspiring leader. Probably not going to be a leader. Soul collector. Sure. And... Defensive training. Inspiring leader. Vigor. about a defense whenever this unit kills another unit I'm gonna assume this means magic stuff works too could be wrong cool welcome to the team bug base undies Annie Okay, but seriously, you, you just need to, like, get over here and be protected. Uh -huh. Be protected. Now, which alley of death do I want to go down first? They both look genuinely horrible. Uh, let's pull this thing out. Pull you in there. Boop. Oh, yeah. You took over the army leader slot. That's a problem. That is a big old problem. Okay, whoops, stop. You go there, because he has the umbral crystals. I thought I had two or three of those. You know what? We'll just crank one out real quick. <clears throat> I was pretty sure I had a guy with another one. That's not it. That's obviously not it. Here it is. Unequip that. Confirm. Oops. And you just start coming down this way. Yes, 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 yes. I just got a cool free hero. Uh, I don't mind the idea of this guy being like front line dude. Just worried that like this is all going to come get me, and I'm going to fight, like, a whole bunch of just nastiness. That army's not too bad. Oops. This one, though. The photographer got a little too close to that guy. They're shooting in a really small auditorium. Just random bear. Um. Oh, I can go there. Cool. Yeah. All right. You just sit tight. 
Nope. 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 Beatrice to Fang, you're gonna sit tight. Bughead. Zanny Panties, or whatever your name was. There's a sesame seed stuck to my beer glass. What on earth? Ooh! Dark presence. Your quest for the Gate of Therocraft progresses. As the days pass, you cannot shake the feeling that you are being watched. Ooh, spooky. You often have to suppress the urge to look behind you. Is it the Umbral Abyss affecting your mind, or is it something more? One night, whilst you are alone, I mean, if you have a skull as a weapon, are you really ever alone? The darkness seems ever, even deeper than before. The scent of death and decay weighs on you like a suffocating blanket. Well, I mean, I am a vampire lord. It's very likely I have a blanket made out of, like, human flesh. I mean, it's just a good use of human flesh. I have so much of it lying around. Shadows around you deepen as you feel the dark presence intensify. Do you reach out, or do you recoil? Gaze into the darkness, ignoring any feeling of discomfort. Ooh. The shadows aren't a stranger to me. I welcome them. Ooh, all right. Yes. Yes, I am doing this. Dark energies coalesce in your shadow as it rises above you. The pressure of mortality weighs heavy on you, even as a godier. Godier? You realize this is the presence that has been with you from the start since you were locked inside your cage of binding. It shifts, showing you a vision of tendrils from beyond the void, corrupting death, decay, and rebirth. A force beyond darkness, beyond shadow. You whisper its name. Ure. And the, enter the entity shimmers in cold frustration. It cannot fight that which taints its very essence, but you can. You realize you stand before an avatar of, uh-oh, Endalion of Shadow. Who's this dude? Huh. Neat. Cold, deathly tendrils reach out to you. You accept its blessing. Blessing? Uh, unlocks the Tomb of Doom Herald. Not my favorite tome. In fact, I don't think I've ever taken it. I receive a bunch of souls, I gain a Banshee, and I gain a Reaper. Or I can reject its influence. Well, let's just do that. What's eating all my... I guess the Reaper? You require souls? You do. That's fine, I have more souls than I know what to do with. Um, I don't really like Banshees. They are not my favorite unit. And even though it was free, I will keep the Reaper though. Cool. I have conquered death. You, you think you're gonna, I'm gonna let you get away with that? Foolish. Foolish! Hopefully this is an easy auto-combat and we can just watch them get squished by our massive, terrifying leader. Yep, let's do it. Blended. You used, like, the worst choice possible. Uh-huh. Good. Ba -ba 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 Bam! Good lightning strike. I really like those Dark Warriors. Even though they're Tier 1 units, if you, if you really enchant the hell out of them, they can just... just... annihilate. What is my ruler doing? Whoa! 79 damage? Not the most I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure one game, when this game very first came out and I was still playing on like easy mode to kind of get the ropes, pretty sure I had a 
character using a battle axe do something like 112 damage in one hit. It's pretty nuts. But I was like really highly leveled and I attacked something really weak. But still, I was like, wow. Oh, no. My bad, sorry. Hopefully it does the exact same thing. Oh, this looks a lot like the tower from uh, Lord of the Rings. I, I don't know Lord of the Rings lore very well, so I, I'm, I I don't know the name of it. Is that Sauron's tower? There's a cool Lego set that was the the big dark black tower, and it was what was awesome about it. It was just it was tons of black pieces. It was like almost all black pieces. I love Legos. Um, and, uh, don't, don't kill my guy. Do not kill my guy. Um, I'm gonna be so annoyed if they kill him. Whoa, 84. That's pretty good. Good. Good job. Don't let him die. Good job. Good job. Okay, smart guy, don't hit the retry button. Goofus. Don't want any of this. Dismiss units. Yes. I have to keep myself in in the black, as it were. Okay. Let's just chomp these guys down a little bit. Restore and dead. Splendid. Ooh, I get a new tome. Withering Mist. Interestingly, uh, of all the tier five tomes, this is the only one that doesn't grant you a Ascension perk. I don't know why. I I hope there's a reason why they do that. Or maybe they have one cooking or something, but I'd really like one. That'd be cool. Also, I, there are some ascension perks that are available to tier five tomes and like tier one tomes and it's like why would you do i feel like the tier five tomes should have like the most powerful perks right so to be split against on like a tier one and a tier five it's like well why would why why would i even do that i don't know that's just a personal little beef i have withering mists uh, uh yeah that could be great restore Someone's a full army. True death mark. Instantly kill targets. As cool as this is, I'm a little worried about my city rebelling away from me. So I almost feel like I need to take one that's like, makes my city happy. Which I don't love. <laughs> I'd rather take something that's really cool. But just like... Like, Tome of Faith? Doesn't this one have something that's just like, Oh, we're all happy! Don't worry about it! Oh no, it's not this one. What is it? There's one that's like... Is it Tome of Zeal? No. Tome of the Bacon? No. Tome of the Inquisition. Tribunal. It's just straight up 20 stability and a bunch of knowledge. And eh, these spells aren't bad either. Inquisitor's Mark, this could be really great against, um... Oh, this could actually be really fantastic. Uh... It's kind of off-brand, but I'm a little worried about my city, like, rebelling out from under me. I don't know if that'll happen. Legion of Zeal, no. No. Fanatical Workforce? No. I mean, it's, it's sort of like, is it the, the, the cult of Beatrice de Fang? Sure. And it's all pretty low tier stuff, so we'll power through it really fast. And if we get these tribunals online, 
we'll have a lot of knowledge heading our way. So that's what we're going to take. <laughs> Just churn through it, and then we'll get the tier five. The unrighteous shall feel the wrath. I didn't get the one I wanted. In virtue, we shall so that's good. Down upon we're gonna them with devout rage and furious vengeance. Uh, oh, I can just unlock war breeds. That's cool. Of their wickedness. Cool weaponry. Well, subjects shall be driven uh, by their I do it again. Spirit. I need that tribunal. Oh. That could be good later to offset um, that Reaper that I got. They loot a doom. There it is. Golly, that's going to take a long time. Uh, I just saw my timer go off. But we're going to drop some blizzards. And then we're going to call it an episode. I don't like all these guys running amok all up in my stuff. But these got to die. That is one resilient polearm skeleton. I just went... I, I had like a thousand mana at the start of this turn. Anyway, this has been another good episode, at least I had fun, of the ascension of Beatrice de Fang. Don't mind me as I just uh, poke through all my uh, abilities I'm learning. Sure. Great. Uh... I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm still enjoying it. Let's keep uh, keep going and uh, stay tuned for more as we slowly chip away at all this umbral insanity. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye.